NDB Bank has been one of the largest sources of medium and long-term project finance in Sri Lanka since 1979. In 2001, NDB entered commercial banking by acquiring ABN AMRO Bank's Sri Lanka operations. Here to discuss the development of NDB Group is Russell Demel, CEO of NDB Bank. Russell, welcome. Thank you, Nick. So introduce us to NDB and describe the evolution of the company. When we initially got into banking, we felt that being a late entrant to the sector, which is highly competitive, we would someday have to operate on a differentiated business model. And we felt that there ought to be some functions that need to supplement banking. And it was capital markets that we opted for and also supported by insurance. So over the years, the banking segment has expanded to take, we are to take on commercial banking and retail banking from the project financing and the SME banking we had initially. On the capital market side, we've expanded into investment banking, stock broking, and wealth management. We had an investment in insurance which we divested recently, but we still have a product offering on bank assurance. And now we are positioned to what we always wanted to be, a one-stop shop for all business and financial needs of the country. And we very successfully accomplished this, and I think the times are very opportune for us to really leverage ourselves and forge ahead. So amid this expansion, how have you differentiated yourself from your competitors? Well, we have a unique group structure, as I just mentioned, the combination of banking with capital markets. And that's supplemented and supported, ably supported, by a very unique human capital base. On one end, we have the professional bankers. At the other end, we have the high-end CFAs. And in between, we have lawyers, accountants, engineers, stockbrokers, wealth planners. So we feel that we are unique in terms of our human resource. And we position ourselves, in fact, as a knowledge hub. There's a quite a distinct advantage when we focus on advisory, because we feel the transaction will always follow. Sri Lanka is emerging, and investment is very vital to promote growth. And we can play a vital role in directing the right investment in the right sectors by providing the right advice. So we look forward to very interesting times. You know, the one-stop shop concept, coupled with the knowledge hub, we will you know, be in a great uh, advantage vis-a-vis -vis RPS. Against the emerging growth of Sri Lanka's economy then, where do you place NDB and what's the growth story there? All banks have a moral obligation to be a integral part of this growth phase. But the NDB group has a bigger responsibility given our strengths, core competencies. Today, Sri Lanka is planning to achieve rapid economic growth. And as I said, growth is spurred by investments, both locally undertaken by the local entrepreneurs, as well as bringing the foreign investments to the country, which is much desired. Uh, we have our investment bank in Bangladesh, we have a MOU with DBS Singapore. We have a leasing company in Maldives. What foreign investors are looking for today is a trusted portal. Once you have an idea to start an investment or a project, there are a series of activities that go along with it, from the conceptualization stage to preparation of the feasibility, identifying investors, uh, raising the finances, and if anyone wants to even exit to the stock market, or play the stock market quotation and exit. Uh, no other entity of within our peers can offer this kind of, this range of activities. And we feel that that's our cutting edge and we are very well poised to capitalize on the emerging situations, emerging activities and forge forward. You talked earlier about developing your business lines. How important is it to integrate uh, both wealth management and capital markets with core banking? Through our wealth management entity, we are offering the investors a range of products. Because today, investors are very intelligent. They know what their risk appetite is. So what we've done is couple risk appetite with the commensurate returns. So he, the investor would know, this is my risk appetite. With this kind of risk appetite, this is the kind of return I expect. And then maybe if I, I can invest on this product. And some of these products are driven online. So he or she can... Uh, uh, monitor the progress of the investments over a period of time. We manage large funds and wealth management is imagined to be one of the best corporates within the NDB group. So 
as I said earlier, capital markets with wealth management and insurance. Insurance also has you know, different products. We are in a position to really uh, position NDB group way above our peers. Finally then, what's the strategic vision for NDB over the next few years? Well, we've been growing ever since we were formed in 1979. And uh, in fact, I've been very much involved in this change process. And one thing that I need to respect within the group is that when a change takes place, it's not when the balance sheet records your investment, but it's when the people, the staff believes in the change that the real change takes place. So we spend a lot of time training our people and guiding them towards the group vision. And that we've accomplished now. When a client walks in, our uh, vision is to have them sign one mandate which is shared right across the group, across all the products. And end of the month, he or she will receive one statement giving the transactions on the assets and liabilities. This is not a far-fetched dream. We started on it many years ago. We are fine-tuning the IT platform because it has to be driven by information technology and we are heavily leveraging on IT. So that is my dream and I'm sure the NDB group will be achieving this dream very soon. It will be a reality. Russell, thank you. Thank you so much, Nick. Mm -hmm.